And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Darius Thresh. That's right, this is going to be our last deck. It's been a little bit since we've played this one, but this is a pretty sweet deck where we have our good Shadow Isle starts with like Curse Keeper and Blighted Caretaker. We have that kind of stuff to help control the board. Um, and also controlling the board, we have Thresh with you know being able to see these different units die. But then we're going to be uh, com uh, combining that kind of start with a bunch of Nexus damage. We have Imperial Demolitionist and Doom Beast both doing Nexus damage and being able to find both of those with Stalking Shadows. And then uh, trying to get them down to less than 10, and of course Noxion Fervor, trying to get them down to 10 or less, so then we can have Darius be a 10-6 to finish the game. And so maybe an attack with Darius or also Darius plus Atrocity. Like that's 10 damage right there. That's a lot of damage. So that's what our, our deck's about. I'm uh, going to have new card in here, Precious Pet. Going to be playing this over Hapless Aristocrats. Before, last time, we, we played two Hapless Aristocrat and one Ravenous Butcher. And instead, we're going to have Precious Pets that can help get some early damage in with the Fearsome. Uh, and there we go. That's that's our deck. And, and if we do have, like, the leveled up Darius and it dies, we can bring it back with Rekindler. We got that one Rekindler in here uh, that maybe we find with Stalking Shadows. All right, this is our deck. Darius Thresh. Uh, we've done well with this deck each time that we've played it. It's pretty good because, you know, it has it can control the board and it has a bunch of Nexus damage. It's kind of exactly what you want in a deck. So let's see how we do. We're going to go play five games in ranked. Looks like Discard Burn is a popular one these days. I like Blighted Caretaker, and I like Unspeakable Horror. I don't really mulligan the Stalking Shadows hardly ever. But this is certainly a time that looks like we need to mulligan it, because we need to find something to, you know, kill early with Blighted Caretaker. So the mulligan's not really helping us out. Atrocity, Noxion Fervor, <laughs> now Rekindler. Wow, this did not help us out at all. Um... Yeah, this did not help us out at all. Oh, this is a very poor mulligan. Okay, Warden's Prey is playable. That wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. So they didn't do anything that turn. The chains, they never stop. So I'm just going to go with the Warden's Prey plus Lunari Priestess on this turn. I like playing this yes, Ephemeral I one as a blocker. Just leave me alone! I want to go home! And then next turn we'll have five mana, so perfect amount of mana for Curse Keeper plus Caretaker. Huh. They both got Undyings. Which is the worst card to get against a very aggressive deck. The Undying's not going to be doing anything. I'm not planning on ever casting that card. So unfortunately that's the worst card that we could hit. Garden. Surprise, they're just passing all the time. They grow up so fast. Okay, we're supposed to attack. Okay, cool. See, so maybe they'd have like a you know, vision or something. I'm a little surprised they didn't block 4 3. Just been passing. Wow. They must be they must have a bunch of the the six mana card. I brought my books. In oh, hand. That's all right. I don't know. 
Oh no, am I actually gonna cast the Undying? I guess I am. <laughs> I was just saying I'm never gonna cast that card, but I guess for how our hand looks, I guess I'm actually casting it because I want Nightfall Doom Beast. And I guess the Undying gives us these Blighted Caretakers. hand was not very good. Thermogenic Beam in that deck? Alright, so we're at 11. This attack works out, this would put them down to 10, which is the magic number, as far as Darius is, co is concerned. Alright, so we play 10 at 6 Darius, and then also have Atrocity. They did not have a very good hand. Didn't look like so. Yeah, just a bunch of jury rigs Mine is the hand and vision. Noxus. Could do it upstairs. I don't know. I'll just take out that blocker. attack. There we go. GG's. 1-0. and oh. Our borders grow. GG's. Ooh. This deck's a little different. These are different regions. Freljord at Demacia. All right, Blighted Caretaker was awesome. It would be awesome with these cards as well. Yeah, that. Yeah, opponent did not do anything too, too scary that last game. What does he want from me? Atrocity. Alright, all Nightfall cards. All Nightfall cards. That's good. Could do it on the Warren's Prey as well, but I'm gonna just let this happen. That'll turn the Swiftwing Lancer into being a 5 3. So that's better for challenging. And actually, yeah, let's just let this happen and see what we get. Ooh, Mentor the Stones? Okay. Okay. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. Do I want to turn the Curse Keeper into being a 3 3? I probably want to mentor the, mentor the stones this Thresh. That's probably what I want to do. These old eyes still see far and clear. So it looks like they got single combat. Which I will trade Glimpse Beyond for single combat. What's 
that thing down to two health. this to just keep the Thresh at a really high health. And if they if they want to block here, we have the Unspeakable Horror. Okay. Good. Not Radiant Guardian, which is good, and hopefully not Radiant Guardian again. And that's not, so that's good. Alright, so we went with not Radiant Guardian. That's very good. The old Mentor of the Stones Thresh deck. That's a common one, right, Harvey? The old Mentor of the Stones Thresh deck. Ooh. I think I'm going to go Demolitionist, but Caretaker, I don't know, Caretaker... Actually, maybe we go Care... Caretaker helps level up Thresh quite a bit. Yeah, let's go Caretaker. Right now, Thresh is at 3 out of 6. I was hoping they'd be scared. They're not scared. Fury of the North. Oh, I was expecting Repost. Let's say I'll have Repost taken care of. Okay, Fury of the North. It's kind of rough. on the first let's see what past turn are they possibly planning on judgment with this past turn Celestial power. it's like the the ideal attack is this they're probably not gonna judgment right Possibly. So I'm not going to play the, the Shade Stalker because of Judgment. Alright, we'll just draw two. They're down to ten. All the world on one arrow. If I don't play anything right here, then I'll have 12 mana, which is perfect amount of mana for Darius plus Atrocity. Right? Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna have 11 mana. <laughs> Never mind, I won't have enough mana for that, so yeah, we'll have 11 mana. Another moon veil. Precious pets. Give them a chance. My saplings. Literally, all the all the precious pets. Adorosans, stand together. Wow. 
Okay. Harsh winds it is. These frostbite cards are kind of the problem with my going all in on Darius. Four out of five. Everyone's a garden. <laughs> Alright, so no judgment. Rings against Noxus. I've seen more than my share of trouble. Forgive me. Noxus will rise. Still have harsh winds. All right, so against harsh winds, I don't know. Hopefully not harsh winds. Shine with me. Other option was was to pump up the shade stalker. Avarosa, guide me. That was the worst case scenario, for sure. This will put him down to four. Empires are built upon action. Move. I don't have any good options. At least not with atrocity. I don't have any good options with atrocity. Let's see what we create here, nightfall wise. That only does one damage to me, so that puts me down to 12. Now 14. Easier to survive an open attack. That's a good draw. Do I have the mana for all these? Yeah, 9 because I need 11 mana. Yeah. Do this right now. A gift from Avarosa. So they have single combat, or uh, not single combat? Yeah. So yes, yeah, so that, that's just game. Because so that's what I was gonna say. So I can't go Imperial Demolitionist because of single combat. Let's see how we do against Twisted Fate Gangplay. That's a good one. What we got? I keep Doom Beast. We'll mulligan the two Darius with them just being expensive. Um, sometimes I mulligan Doom Beast though, but like this matchup, uh, probably want the uh, the drain too. All right, nice. Turn one, precious pet. And then we'll go Warden's Prey to block this thing. Not going to be playing the Doom Beast immediately. Hopefully we get um, Mage Seeker Conservator. Yeah. Right, let's attack for one. Harvey, what do you see? All right, four three overwhelm going to be a problem. We'll see what kind of spell we can get. Could be something pretty good. Search then. This block even worth it? Nothing down to one health. 
I mean, I saved one life for that. That's probably not worth it. Saving one life. Skies descend. That's not any good. There's plenty of killing left. For the Empire. Black powder grenade. You for the many. <laughs> Another curse keeper. We weren't expecting callers. Keep up, keep up. I don't really have great attacks. Like besides Curse Keeper just attacking. She's gonna be so happy. It's probably gonna be pretty tough to cast this Explosive. the skies descend. Remember the objectives. Make the Empire proud. Alright, down to ten. Neither the flames nor the Good Darius range. Cool. No powder keg for them. So three two versus three three. Trade four threes. Two three kill that. Path ends here. Two one kill this. Just have my two three be blocking there with the gangplank. <laughs> yeah, you could probably say impossible, so. Impossible sounds pretty tough. <laughs> oh, Darius, where are you at? It's Darius time. Hmm. No, Darius. I'll cut my name into you. Why are you here? Let's put him down to eight. I could atrocity this escaped a bit. No. I just want to play something before Doom Beast. So that something's gonna be gonna be rekindler, I guess. That could be good. That's potential. War Mason, reporting for duty. No. Well, they target that. That's the one thing I can't calling strike. Do I have to fervor that thing? So that's going to do three damage to me, put me down to six. Maybe I just calling strike. Maybe I just calling strike the powder keg. Go to seven. And then play Doom Beast. That's six mana, so then I wouldn't have any extra mana available. It's not the most aggressive line. I'm doing all Nexus damage. Really wish that Demolitionist would have just targeted the Powder Keg. The problem with playing Blighted Caretaker is Twisted Fate. They haven't demonstrated Twisted Fate. Like, they haven't like played Twisted Fate at all. But you think they would would if they had it? I don't know. I don't really like any any decision. Like there's a lot of things that can punish us for no matter which way, no matter what we do, no matter where we go. Everyone's a garden. I'll break the siege. We grow up so fast. 
Yes. Well, I like seeing that. Routes closed. I love seeing that. There we go. Atrocity for the win. GG's. Alright, 3 0. Yeah, Blade's Edge. <laughs> Alright, so I like Warden's Prey a whole lot. Thresh is good. And these other two cards are good at playing long games. But they're not good at stopping early aggression. I think we'll just keep them. Like, Warden's Prey dying would get us another card that costs three or less. Uh, another Last Breath follower, so it would, you know, help out as far as playing another body is concerned. I gotta get out of here! Eighteen. Still just passing? Not passing anymore. I'll buy some time. I don't know, don't don't love any of my options. If they don't break. Card's good. The thing that would be good about this, or this is still gonna pop the powder cake anyway, because it's still gonna just do two damage to me, so that's good. And I want to play Thresh this turn, but I also want to play all this other stuff. I guess Blighted Caretaker is not great against Twisted Fate. I'll play the Undying. What if we play the Undying? Get bloody, get paid. Show off. <laughs> I wish I had that card. That would work well with my The Undying. For the Empire. Make the Empire proud. Man, that's another great card. Their foundations. Make it worth my while. Of course, they probably don't want to be blocking the Undying, so it should just be getting this these Nexus shots in, which is just good for my Darius and Atrocity and stuff like that. It gives me a good body to keep Noxious fervoring and all that kind of stuff. So, like, <clears throat> I guess this turn we're going to be casting Thresh. I, you know, I wish we had an additional mana to go along with... Uh, all these three mana spells, but I do have an unspeakable horror. So is it, is it going to be Curse Keeper challenging Demolitionist? So that'll be three things dying. 
So I can either save my Demolitionist with the Horror, or I can take out this Hired Gun and save some life. I think I just take out Hired Gun. No, there's not any reason to... There's... No, you, you definitely always attack with the Undying. <laughs> Literally every chance you get. Yep, it's always attack. Uh, the only thing is, like, if they have, like, a Lifesteal thing, you know, like a Radiant Guardian. Like, this matchup is definitely always attack. You know, maybe they'd have, like, a Radiant Guardian, or maybe they'd be representing, like, Spirit's Refuge that you need to play around, something like that. And now uh, we, we always attacking with the Undying. Wow. I was gonna say, they're probably not playing Ravenous Flock. That's a big time Ravenous Flock, though, because we are going to level up that Thresh before attacking... Most likely. Oh, I soil. They grow up so fast. I don't want to like play Shade Stalker and then they play Twisted Fate and Red Card. Let's just take the attack while we can. Because if they use removal on these things, I got fervors. That's what we call a, a very good make it rain. So with the fervor, I can... I think we're just going upstairs, right? With having fervor, fervor, atrocity. If we could kill the 4-3, but I think we just go upstairs. I have the Warden's Prey to block the 4-3 on the way back. Man, that ravenous block they just had was so clutch. The chains, they never stop. Do 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 do. Do do do. Let's do this. I want to go. Is me going down to four? While I want to play Darius this turn, I guess we don't get to... I guess we're going to have to Culling Strike. The Spray Fin. And that Mega Rain was good. Try again. Your king has returned. Oh, I should have done the Stalking Shadows first, right? Because of Doom Beast, and then played and then played Doom Beast. I was thinking keeping the mana, so that I could have Darius plus Atrocity. No, you're no, yeah, I should not have played Stalking Shadows. Okay, this this works. No, we're good. This works. Explosives. Because obviously I can't do anything about Warning Shot, but I need to have Darius plus Atrocity. Or, like, spell. Never lost a fair trying to kill me. Or played one. Darn. I tried. The thing that won that game for my opponent was that Ravenous Flock on my Thrush. That won that game for my opponent. Alright, so we're 3-1 and one going into our last one, playing against Thrush. Get rid of Culling Strike. Get rid of Unspeakable Horror. Get rid of Doom Beast. 
yeah. I'm gonna, I don't know. Maybe I want to keep this unspeakable horror. Maybe I should be keeping Coaling Strike because I guess they're a Thresh deck, right? Coaling Strike's amazing against Thresh. But this is good. I wanted to have, you know, I want to have some aggressive cards early. That egg. Did it move? Depends. Some, some people play. There's different versions of Twisted Fate Gangplank. Some people are aggressive and they play Decimate, others not. No. Twice in a row we got the one uh, worst possible card, Caustic Cask. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Devotion through battle! Caretaker. There you are. Yeah, like some some people play like the nav cards. Like the deck we were playing against was playing the nav cards. They're more mid range. They weren't gonna have decimate the, the last deck that we were playing against. So they had pill for goods and black market merchant and stuff like that. Saving cost of cask, it can do a lot of things. Like if we'd find a thrash, it could help level up the thrash. It you know could be good with the caretaker. It could do just a, a good variety of things for us. I don't want to just pass and then they pass and I waste all my mana, so we're gonna play this. Could also just play the cask and then glimpse beyond it. Another option. Kill his thrash before it levels up. Uh, we'll see if they have spells. If I need to, you know, I would like to glimpse beyond the caretaker, but I need to kill this thrash. So if they have like withering whale, that's you know, withering whale would be a huge problem, of course. And then I would need to fervor it and kill the thrash. Didn't go very good. So, cooling strike would not have worked. All they need is one more kill to level up their thrash and be able to bring in a really soul. I guess they are at four life. Got six life. So I could atrocity my 4 3 and kill their Thresh, keep them from bringing in Aurelian Soul, but then if they have another Bastion, that just took up my whole turn and then we're in a lot of trouble. And then I don't have an atrocity anymore. I don't think I do that. I think I save atrocity to try to kill them. Let's play. Darius? No, our own Thrash. We should be seeing some things die this turn. 
Yeah, now I'm gonna play the cask with the blocker. Spilled paint is just accidental art. Where do they get that cosmic rays from? Oh, star shaping. So got a block with escaped abomination. Let's, rock. Let's just. If we could glimpse beyond any of these first three, it doesn't really matter. Going for killing Aurelian Soul. Like, we have a pretty decent late game, also. You know, we have to be worried about, like, star shapings and that kind of stuff. Like, they always play those kind of cards. So I can't just, like, assume that, like, I should just Atrocity. You know, like, I don't I don't want Thresh to challenge their Aurelian Soul and then we Atrocity and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so now that they have Vengeance, now we're definitely atrocity. But, you know, we have, like, all these other things that can do Nexus damage anyway. So I thought this was a good challenge. Alright, GG's. Alright, four and one. You know, just lost that close one there to the Twisted Fate deck, where we did have the lethal atrocity, but they had another lethal burn spell. This deck's pretty sweet. We've always done well with this deck. Like, haven't we always gone 4-1 or better? I think, you know, 4-1 or 5-0 with this deck. I'm pretty sure we have. Um, it's just good. It's just got good value stuff and can play a longer game, but then has a lot of ways to finish the game quickly. Um, with Atrocity and Darius, so you can end games real fast. Um, I like the Precious Pets. Oh, they, I thought they did their job. They did pretty good. Did better than Hapless Aristocrat would have done. Um, the Warden's Prey was incredible. But yeah, just, you know, Demolitionist and Doom Beast and then Fervor, Atrocity. Like, it just, that damage really adds up, especially when you have your Blighted Caretaker Curse Keeper starts. You know, how good Blighted Caretaker is. You have a card that, that's as powerful as this that gets you ahead and gets you a good amount of damage in early on. So, yeah, play Precious Pet instead of Bark Beast because Precious Pet's a lot better on turn one and then it just attacking on turn one. It There's a lot of one-drops in the format right now. We saw that again, you know, against, like, Hapless Aristocrat and other stuff like that, and there's a lot of one-drops in the format. I like how Precious Pet, you have the attack token, you get to play, get to do two damage immediately and don't have to worry about, uh, you know, don't have to worry about anything. Let's see... Yeah, so everything everything worked out pretty well with this deck. I did quite a bit. The Rekindler, I guess not so much. <laughs> the one time we had Rekindler, we did not have a dead champion, and so it was just a 4-4. But we still won that game, and Rekindler did help. We had to Atrocity Rekindler to kill our opponent for lethal, so it did its job. Uh, but these are both, like, Thresh and Darius are both very good at champions. Both great targets for Rekindler. You know, a 5-mana champion, a 6-mana champion. Those are really good to bring along with 7-mana Rekindler for sure. Man, y'all remember when Rekindler used to cost 6 mana? Dang. <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's Darius Thresh. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. Anything about the deck um, or just anything else. 
uh, hope, hopefully y'all try this one out. It's a good one. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Darius Thrash, and I'll see you for the next video.